Hi, I'm Eric Berseth. I'm a manager at Particle working on the Tachyon single board computer. And today I would like to share a little bit about uh, getting uh, the Tachyon evaluation board, EBT, uh, working with a Cricut, uh, Adafruit Cricut uh, I.O. board. And so let me go ahead and minimize my camera view here. And um, just to kind of go over some of the I.O. that we're dealing with, I'm going to go ahead and adjust my camera down so that we can take a look at some of the hardware. Uh, so please bear with me. So um, uh, we have on the screen, we have the 40-pin uh, header that is uh, available on the Tachyon board, uh, shown by this 40-pin this row right here, 40 pin connector. And on that connector, we have uh, various GPIO as seen in the diagram, as well as uh, a couple of I squared C buses, a spy bus, a serial port, and uh, of course, some uh, codec, audio codec uh, signals. And so today, uh, the Adafruit Cricket uh, and let me go ahead and shift over to that page here, uh, is, a, uh, is an Adafruit uh, Cricut hat that is designed for a Raspberry Pi form factor. Uh, and it includes a uh, series of, uh, let me go ahead and get a camera up here again, um, includes a series of I.O. that are easily configurable through Adafruit's libraries. Uh, to be able to drive a uh, NeoPixel output, um, a speaker output, a, uh, a series of servo outputs, uh, digital I.O., and actually here's the servo, uh, here is some motor control and various, um, uh, I believe, H-bridge type of drives for motors, solenoids, whatever you may have. Um, so the, this particular Cricut board actually uses uh, primarily the I squared C bus. And this I squared C bus is, is controlled over this uh, library called Adafruit Cricut library, which has several dependencies. Uh, one is a Seesaw library that is a, um, that is a small embedded processor that runs on the Cricut board uh, that uh, takes I squared C commands and issues uh, uh, issues controls over some of the I.O., uh, especially the NeoPixel, the GPIO, uh, the servo outputs, and so forth. The uh, NeoPixel that we uh, would like to use is another Adafruit product. And let me go ahead and maximize my camera again here. And it's just a simple uh, eight uh, NeoPixel strip. Uh, and then we also have a, uh, a pan tilt camera uh, mount that has, uh, this is the tilt uh, servo um, wire, and here's the pan servo uh, wires. And uh, let's go ahead and get this thing booted up. Um, so first of all, I'm gonna connect some of the wires here on the board uh, just to get it booted up. And um, we do have some clearance issues, so I'm just going to go ahead and put this paper here and connect this as such. Make sure everything is actually aligned so that we don't bend any pins, like so. And then uh, I need to connect up a battery. like so. And then uh, I will connect up the pan servo control to the servo pins here. Um, I will connect the tilt up to another set of pins. And then uh, provide five volt power to the Cricut board. And so I will do this over here. So hopefully this isn't a big mess of wires for you uh, and it won't obscure the camera too much, camera view. So uh, let's go ahead and turn on the board and then we will 
Um, turn on the cricket, boot the tachyon if we can. Uh, and so now we're we're actually booting. So uh, let me go ahead and describe kind of what we're going to be doing here. And uh, let me go ahead and also plug in this right here, just so that we can get um, some USB power. Um, because the battery might be, may or may not be fully charged right now. And so that is a um, something to pay attention to. All right. So um, so the Cricut board, uh, of course, is interfaced through this uh, I2C bus that is present on the, um, the Tachyon board. It's a 40-pin header. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, it uses the Seesaw microcontroller, um, to uh, relay commands in from I2C into uh, whatever is connected, uh, being it analog, digital, servo, uh, NeoPixel, um, uh, as well as just DC uh, motor control and so forth. And then uh, let me get this out of the way. And um, uh, I am going to make sure that we can actually um, get into the board and there we go. So we're now uh, uh, SSH'd into the board. Uh, it should be uh, connected to an I2C bus. And there are two buses, uh, of course, listed on the, um, on the the 40 pin header, uh, one I squared C bus is I squared C one that is connected to the uh, pins three and five of this header. And then uh, I squared C bus uh, zero is attached to, I believe this is oh, uh, 27, 28 maybe. And so if we, if we take a look at the I squared C buses that are present in the device, um, the device path, uh, we have I squared C zero and I squared C one. I squared C one, of course, is the I squared C bus that is actually attached to the cricket. And that's the one that we're going to be focusing on today um, in our demo. So let's uh, head over to um, the um, uh, the window that I have up right now. And um, as I mentioned, uh, this is uh, dependent on uh, the Adafruit libraries right here, the uh, Cricut, um, the Cricut uh, uh, Circuit Python Adafruit libraries, and although this doesn't really use, uh, this is a full Linux system, and it doesn't use, um, uh, you know, low-level Circuit Python libraries and stuff like that. Uh, it still uh, makes a lot of low-level uh, Python calls. And so we have to have some adaptation layer uh, to be able to provide support into our specific board. And so uh, things that we can control in here are uh, the signals, uh, continuous servos, um, the NeoPixel uh, servos, and touch inputs. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, SSH into Tachyon from here as well. And we're going to go and we are going to activate a virtual Python environment that I have all of these libraries um, installed with. And I just call it this. And what that does is it allows us to use the site libraries or site uh, uh, changes that I've, I've made to the library to be able to support our board. And so I am gonna go ahead and set up the camera uh, so that you can see what's going on. Uh, over here in the camera view, we have this, this pan tilt head. We have a, an Adafruit, uh, um, an Adafruit uh, uh, NeoPixel strip and uh, 
the library comes with a series of just simple tests. And so let's go ahead and just run a, a Cricut NeoPixel simple test. And this is all Python based. So we're gonna just do this. Uh, let's see, NeoPixel simple test and see what it looks like. And we have a bunch of LEDs going off and uh, that is uh, running this particular example here. And so let's go ahead and cancel that out of that. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pop into a Python shell real quick. Um, Python three, uh, and then I am going to import a Cricut library here. Um, and then uh, let's go ahead and initialize the NeoPixel. Uh, we don't want this too bright, so we're gonna set the brightness to uh, 25% uh, I guess you could say um, and then uh, let's just go ahead and make this this glow uh, cyan and see what it looks like so all of the LEDs are cyan um, and let's go ahead and uh, address the servo so the servo is uh, identified as servo 1 and we're just going to set the angle to 0 and that is controlling uh, the pan filt, uh, pan setting of this of this motor drive, uh, of which we set up to uh, control from the servo one interface, and then the servo two interface, um, of course, is uh, servo two. And let's just go ahead and and make that pop up like so. And so, if we wanted to, we could make that duck down again, pop back up again. Um, and then go to the uh, the pan filter or pan setting again. And I apologize, I don't have the camera set up here. Um, uh, I can potentially, yeah. Unfortunately, I don't at the at the present time. So uh, this is the view you get. Uh, I'm sorry about that. Uh, another demo, maybe in the future, I will have this hooked up to. Um, to show this particular camera and then have it uh, uh, track an object. So let's go ahead and quit this program right here. Um, and um, let's go ahead and run a simple touch demo. And so the touch inputs are these four pads right here um, on the Cricut board. And the idea is if you touch one of these guys, uh, it should um, show a message that that the the touch input is actually being activated, and so if we then do that, uh, just the simple test, and then we touch one, touch two. Oh, well, actually, this this demo uh, that they provided only does touch one, and um, that seems to work. Uh, at least for uh, the touch one. And then let's go ahead and do the uh, Cricut uh, servo test. And that just go, kind of goes back and forth very noisily. And I have prepared a, um, uh, just a kind of a multi, a multi-threaded application here that will uh, light the lights, uh, move the servos, uh, and just do something a little bit more interesting uh, so that uh, multiple interfaces are being used at the same time. Um, I did have a problem getting the touch two, touch three, and touch four interfaces working. Um, so I commented that code out and hopefully, uh, uh, hopefully you don't mind for this demo. The um, the application is going to start three threads. Uh, one is one thread actually starts a NeoPixel uh, kind of uh, wheel pattern um, fade pattern that uh, is going to be driving all eight LEDs on the uh, Cricut board, or on the I'm sorry the uh, NeoPixel board, and then the servo. Uh, is going to be going from one angle to another angle and just kind of go back and forth at a, at a set delay. And so if we now pro or now run this program, uh, we will see
some LEDs being uh, cycled through, uh, uh, different colors, and then we see the uh, servo being moved back and forth, at least the servo one, which is the pan. And uh, we didn't provide some uh, we didn't provide some arguments, so it's complaining about that. And then we'll go ahead and exit out of that. Um, that pretty much concludes um, the demo for today. Thank you very much for joining me. And uh, I, I will provide some more demos and flashy things uh, in the near future. Thank you very much.